So we're going to review some place value spots that you've all already been taught. So I turn my paper sideways. So you guys know on the left side of the decimal, this is the what place? No. Ones. Good. And this is the, what's after? Ones. Tens. Good. And this is the hundreds. And this is the thousands. In fourth grade, they introduced two place value spots to you on the right side of the decimal. This first one, I usually have a handful of kids every year that say that this is the once place. There is no such thing as the once place. Don't ever say that. Every year I have kids say, oh, that's the once. Never heard of it except for fifth graders that made it up. You always start with the tenths. Everything on the right side of the decimal is going to end in THS. So I write 10 and add THS. Then after 10 says hundreds, hundreds and y'all learned that last year. So I write 100 and add THS. This is the new one. Say hello to the thousandth. All right. So Really guys, most of this chapter is a review of what you've already done. There is one part, and we're going to practice it together, that's a little tricky where you have to look at the value of the numbers. I also have found that fifth graders come to me and they don't know how to say the numbers right. They'll say 5.37 or 4.921. We're going to have to use the real names for them and say them properly, otherwise word form is going to be a disaster. So when we look at a number, how do I say that number? That's pretty easy, 4,733. When you see the decimal, you say and then you go on. Whatever place value spot you end it is what you say at the end of it. So if the last number is in the tenths place, I would say eight tenths. If the last number is in the hundreds place, I would say 24 hundredths. If the last number is in the thousands place, I would say 642 thousandths. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. So you read the number on the front end. When you get to the decimal, we say and then we read the number on the back end and you say the last place value spot that you fall on. Does that make sense? So if I look at this number here, what's the value of this three that I'm pointing to? No, that's the place value spot. What's the value of the three? 30 or three tens, right? So you guys know that three is worth 30. Is it the same value as this three? No. It's 10 times, good. So when the digits are to the left, going this way, they're increasing times 10 every time I go to the left. Every place value spot you bump to the left is 10 times the one you were previously at. When I move from tens to hundreds, or hundreds to thousands, every time that place value spot is increasing times 10. Now, I'm not going to be able to compare the value of 4,030 that way, but you have to know as you're going to the left, every time you jump over one spot, it's 10 times bigger. What about these twos over here? What's the value of this two here I'm pointing to? No. Two hundredths. Good. 
Is it the same as this one right here? No, it's 10,000. This is 2,000. When you see two hundredths, what do you think of? What is something you use in everyday world that you think of when you see two hundredths? I, 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 how I rememberized it is like when you say ones, it's tens. It's like they're both going that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, except without the ones. Can you think of anything? Where do we use hundreds all the time? We use it every day. Money. What are two hundredths and money talk? Two hundred dollars? What? Two hundred. Hold on, guys. Teddy, what's two hundred? Two pennies, right? Yeah. Two pennies are two hundredths of a dollar. What about four tenths? What money would represent four tenths? Sophia? Dimes. If you think about this like dimes and pennies, it makes more sense. What about two thousands? Do we use two thousands in money? No. Well, we do, but we round to the nearest hundreds. Because if I want to use a thousands in money, I take a penny and I get a laser and I blast it into ten pieces of penny pie. If you think about a thousand, it's like having one tiny slice of penny pie. And if you think about it that way, it's a really tiny amount. You don't want to get paid your allowance in tiny pieces of penny. No way. So when we move from the hundreds to the thousands, Two thousandths is one tenth of two hundredths. So if I'm going this way to the right, I'm finding one tenth of the value every time I'm going to the right. Okay? A thousandth is one tenth of a hundredth. A hundredth is one tenth of a tenth. A tenth is one tenth of a one. Are you following me? And if you think about it, like, these are dimes, and these are pennies. Every time I go to the left, I'm getting bigger. Would you rather have $3 or $30? $30. Yeah, me too. When I'm moving to the left and my number is going the opposite way, it's increasing. Okay, your birthday check's getting bigger, and more money is going in your pocket. Question. Um, are we gonna get a today? So when we do this lesson, you'll see what is one tenth of a number. One tenth of let's say seven tenths. Well, if you think about moving the place value spot from this spot to this spot. You're just moving the seven over to one place value spot smaller and putting a zero in there. When you see one tenth of a number, you're making it that much smaller. Does this make sense? If I want 10 times seven tenths, then I'm gonna move it to the left and I'm gonna get seven ones. Give me a thumbs up if this is making sense. And we're gonna do this lesson all together so you can have that practice together. The other thing we need to clear up is how you guys are saying these numbers because this is where the word form and expanded form kind of fall apart. So if I have this number here, how do I say that number correctly? Not 4.29. Charlie? Charleston? Mm -hmm. um, 4 and 29. 4 and 29 what? What place value spot? Yes. Good. So I would say 
four and twenty nine hundredths. What about that number there? How would I say this number here? Think about it. Sophia? Seven and three, uh, three thousand. Perfect. So I say seven. I get to the decimal and I say and. I read what's after the decimal, three. And the place value spot that three is in is the thousandths. Are you following me, friends? Yes. Let's do one more. How about that one right there? How do I read that one, Quinn? Good. Perfect. So I say three and eight hundred. Twenty-five Any questions on this or does this make sense? It takes some practice to learn how to read the numbers correctly. The other thing you're going to see is how they do expanded form. It's going to be a little different. So for three and eight hundred and twenty-five thousandths, It'll say three times one because we have three ones plus eight times one tenth. Sometimes it's written as a fraction and sometimes it's written as a decimal. Then two times one hundredth and five times one thousand. This is going to come up in the motivation math books more, but Study Island also has it this way as well. You're just doing expanded form and breaking all the pieces up. Give me a thumbs up if we're good on that. Okay.